What up, what up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen and pets of all ages? You boys, yes, welcome back to another Mega 25 Online Rank Match. And today, we have the Patriots going up against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, if you guys noticed, if you guys paid attention to the skill points that I got matched up within, it was immediately, immediately, within like 50 skill points. Uh, actually, turns out, obviously, I didn't know until after the game. But turns out this guy is ahead of me in the top 100. Now, I haven't played ranked matches in, like, forever. The last one I played recently was, like, a couple days ago. And uh, that was the first time in, like, a month. So, uh, you know, I've fallen down from 30 rankish, 30 ish <laughs> ranked to about 60-ish, 70-ish or something like that due to inactivity. But, um, you know, still in the top 100. Like I said, this guy was above me somewhere in the top 50. So, it should definitely make for a good matchup. Uh... Not a matchup I particularly like. I hate going up against the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, we had a snag right there, but Ronald McDonald feet out of bounds. I hate going up against the 49ers because their team is so overpowered. It's like going up against the Mutt team. Uh, they block shed. They do everything so well. But actually, our first possession on defense, we come through with a huge sack right there on third down. And we actually go on ahead and force a huge punt. And that right there was big. You know, first possession, go on ahead and, you know, give Tom Brady the ball. Already in good field position due to uh you know that punt so uh right there i was actually surprised the safety bit down on that which caught me off guard right there i got no catching animation i mean i make that throw a thousand times in my sleep and undercutting that pass right there i do all the time i just got no animation and i give the ball right back next play frank gore just ends up just somehow magically going through that tackle right there and he ends up scoring a touchdown right there so that right there sucks you know just to you know get a stop and then give the ball right back you know what i mean so it's like okay you know what that interception number two never even happened it's like the first time he touched the ball he scored you know what i mean so it's like okay okay you know what we're good let's go ahead and hopefully be able to run the ball a little bit and uh they don't really have any too much speed you know they have uh uh right there just a, a bad read by me just a bad read you know back-to-back -back possessions with back-to-back -back turnovers so um like i was saying man the patriots don't really have you know a, a great receiving core as, as we drop in stuff right there excuse me running back core you know they got legarrett blunt who is extremely slow they got ridley who is slow they got vereen who is a little versatile but you know he's no reggie bush and uh it it just sucks i got downhill runners who are very slow against the best run stuffing team in the game and I'm, I'm just hoping to really have success passing the ball, as they always do when I go up against the Niners. You know, most of the time I go up against the Niners, I really look forward to having success on the on the ground. I mean, on the air, excuse me. It's a fumble, and that's what the 49ers do, man. You talk about Bowman, Willis, uh, Smith. They hit hard, man. They cause fumbles. And, of course, I'm already upset at this point. Right? I'm like, of course. Of course the damn Niners would get a fumble to go his way. Three possessions, three turnovers, interception, interception, fumble. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm about to get blown out here. He, he uh, caused a play right there running towards the left. He gets really close to a touchdown. First and goal. Looks like it's a stretch. And he ends up scoring on three consecutive uh, possessions. So I'm down 17-0. to zero, And I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to get blown out. If I don't get anything going here in this drive, this game, it's it's going to get ugly. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to get ugly. So, right, we step up in the pocket, man. We end up throwing really quickly to Gronkowski, and we end up getting a huge reception. So, um, as I've already expected, I'm, you know, trying to have my success on uh, through the air because running the ball is very difficult against this team. So, uh, right, first and 10, I back up. I'm looking. Nobody's opening. I take a sack right there. Definitely no bueno. That right there definitely sucks. So, uh, second and forever, right? Are we back up? We'll try to find somebody. We end up finding uh, a receiver crossing over the middle, Amendola. So, third and three, I didn't even realize it, man. He had a QB spy there. I just didn't realize it. I was just not expecting that coverage. So, another bad read. So, you talk about four possessions. Turnover, 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 right? Let's break it down now, fellas. Interception, interception, fumble, interception. Right here, we actually stop him in the backfield. It's my surprise. He actually punched the ball. Now, a couple reasons why he might do this. Uh, 
I don't know if it's fourth down swag. I mean, there are instances where he goes for it on fourth down, so I know that's not the case for him. Uh, he probably felt no threat by my offense whatsoever. I mean, I barely could move the ball on him. So he's like, you know what, let me not even take a chance. If I don't get it, he's super close to the end zone, and I don't even want to give him no type of momentum. So I feel like that was a strategical move considering my offense has been ass this game. We're talking about four turnovers consecutively to begin the game. You know how damn near impossible it is to win a game starting off four turnovers in a row and not to mention he scored on three of them. So we finally get our first taste of the end zone. And right now we're thinking, all right, let's hopefully be able to get ourselves another defensive stop. I've proven I can do it right there. Just a missed tackle. Instead of gaining one, he gains nine, which sucks. Next play, he ends up picking up the first down. Uh, I, he must have had a, a, a custom or, or what? Well, not a custom because it's not like uh or he was running pistol he was running uh strong close to the lot and it was definitely a uh, look that i've seen for the first time you know what i mean he was killing me with strong close just um weak dives and and it was just killing me the blocking was phenomenal on it second and 14 he backs up we get a huge sack if you guys don't notice my voice is still sick i'm, I'm getting better but i am still sick he goes for a screen right there but thankfully uh, we don't allow him to catch us off guard. So fourth and forever decides to put the ball. And of course, things going my way. He gets an excellent punt. He actually uh, is able to uh, punt it, hit the ground before my uh, return man gets there. So it bounces another 15 yards, and I'm stuck on like the seventh. Trying to modify screen. I felt like I should have had the first down right there, but big old 63 was just blocking away. Third and three. We really need this first down. And we go to the inside streak, and thankfully we end up holding on to it. So right now I want to get myself in field goal range. Uh, try to throw the ball, but we get hit due to contact. Second and 10, man. I need a huge play. We back up. And we go to my boy, Big O' Gronk, who gets the ball. And I'm not familiar with the Patriots like that, so I'm not sure if they can kick this field goal. So I'm like, you know what? Let me try one really quick play with no timeouts. Ballsy move, right? Thankfully, when I went to my play selection screen, field goal was auto-suggested. Auto, it was uh, auto -suggested it. <coughs> Excuse me, because if I had to go through my uh, plays, I would have been able to do it in time. So... <coughs> Excuse me. We actually kicked the field goal, and it turns out we had plenty of leg. I would have made it from two yards before then, anyway. So, all right here, still trying to have success. <laughs> Running somebody over. That right there is about the third time you see me run somebody over this year. Because, again, it's just an animation that you just never get on next gen. Right here, look at really making plays, and he breaks his time because he's so strong. And I thought we was going to be able to take that all the way, but unfortunately, we get stopped right there. So, you know, being so close to the end zone, I feel like we have a huge opportunity to be able to actually tie this game. And again, starting with four turnovers in a row, I thought I was just going to get blown out. Third and one, we took a chance on running the ball. Thankfully, we got a premature dive, and we actually get in the end zone, and we tie the game. And of course, I'm, I'm super excited, right? I'm like, yes, we did it. We came all the way back down from zero to 17. We came back down from starting off with four consecutive turnovers. And now it's a brand new ball game. So now I feel like, okay, we have an opportunity to win this game. Let's get a stop and see what we can do. You know what I mean? So first and 10, he runs to the outside, and we actually uh, trip him up right there. And uh, he, he definitely does something that, uh, you know, right here, you know, I'm, I'm chasing him, and then he hits me right here. Bam! Tiger! And I'm like, oh, okay. We're doing Tigers! Okay, it was like, you know, I stopped doing it because of, you know, there were some people in that were complaining on Twitter. It was like really like two people and they were like, oh, you need to stop doing it. You can win without it. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. Let me stop doing it. Even though 99% of the people was like, just do it, man. Don't, don't just do it. So, you know, I stopped doing it and then I seen him doing it. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? We can do it too. You're not the only one. Tiger. Oh, oh never mind. I lied. I lied. Oh, it's coming up, though. We got him hot and ready. Oh, here's the first one. Here it is. We run into the Tiger, and then we get another Tiger. Like, you know, you're not the only one that can do it. You know what I mean? So I, I think that's how I will do it from here right now. You know, I'm not even going to touch it. I've made it to the top 100 without doing it. I've beaten people in the top 100 without doing it. I've beaten the number two ranked guy at the time that he was ranked number two without doing it. You know, well, actually, he was number seven, and he made it to number two within that week. So, you know, I beat technically the number two ranked guy without doing it. You know what I mean? So, um, I can win without it. I've proven I can win without it. So, nobody needs to say in the comment section, I needed to win. Absolutely not. I came back down from 17 0 without doing it. 
he hit me with them. Like, oh, okay, okay, I, I can do it too. So, you know, we start doing it, of course, you know, since he slapped me in the face with it. And we actually end up tying the game again, 24 to 24. Now it's fourth quarter. And uh, again, some people are clutch, some people aren't. Am I clutch? Absolutely not. On defense, no. I'll be the first to tell you. I'm very nervous at this point. I don't feel like I can get a stop here. He's been shredding me with the run all game. The few times he's passed it, he's caught me off guard with it. So I'm already thinking I need a huge stop. And right there was a huge mistake. Instead of running the ball in second and two, he decides to come out in a play action, and we get a huge sack. So fourth and nine, he decides to go for it because he doesn't got fourth down swag like us. He can't, you know, how many people do you know can win consistently against people in the top 100 punting the ball fourth down? Me. That's who. How many times did I punt the ball this game? None. Because I kept throwing interceptions and fumbling. But if I had to punt, I would have. Only I could do that. Only me with fourth down swag. So right there, we get a huge pancake, but I'm not stupid. I'm not going to score. That's way too much time with all of his timeouts. I definitely need him to waste his timeout. So uh, right here, we end up running to the right. And the right here, we're just getting getting him to waste his timeouts. And that's exactly what happens, man. All right, we wrote to the right. I was like, don't go out of bounds. Thankfully, we stay in bounds. So we wind the clock down all the way to uh, about 10 seconds. We kick the field goal. So right now, it's 27 to 24. 10 seconds remaining. He's going to need a miracle. Uh, I wouldn't have taken it out. I mean, he wasted four seconds right there. Uh, I wouldn't have done it, but he did, which helped me out. Quick little out route. And he ends up uh, tiptoeing. Three seconds left. He has one opportunity. He scrolls out. He goes deep on top. And we end up swatting it down for the victory. So we come up with the victory. And it was a game that I did not think we had an opportunity to win whatsoever. You're talking about, again, 17 down. Four straight turnovers. I thought I was going to get blown out. We somehow mustered our way back into the game. If you look at the takeaways, four Four. If you give me four extra possessions, I, I don't. It's gonna be tough to to, to lose. But uh, somehow, some way, he did, and we are thankful for it. Um, I show you where he's at now after that game. Like I said, he was above me when the game was played because you see my points. I'm at 2391, and we find him right there at 2380. So I was at 2381. He was at 2390 when the game started. So. He was above us, and we end up winning anyways with those turnovers and starting horribly. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, it's your boy GS. I am out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.